considering that one's a bit more, let's say, manageable. It's not nearly as fucking cheap! <laughs> and also, this one wasn't in the original run of Kingdom Hearts. Only the other two were. Although he may look familiar to you. Depending on if you played the other games, of course. Let me just save here, just to be safe. Ah. Damn, I got a lot of cash. Not much to spend it on. And he's right there. Sam? What's that supposed to mean? Alright, this is the battle with the one called Unknown. Spoiler alert, it's Zemnis. And of course, they couldn't have thought of that the first time they made the game, so it, they're trying to connect the games between each other. And he can be one hard son of a bitch. We'll definitely call out Tinkerbell first, if you want a chance to stay alive. And you can tell it's done this by his little lightning blades. Don't well, be saying that a lot throughout this fight. We gotta make it to the end. Definitely have a Roga on you if you can. A lot of those moves are incredibly fast and hit incredibly hard. Kind of a gimmick for a secret boss. Even with a Roga on, you're still going to take plenty of hits. Frankly, I don't believe he has that. that, uh. Much HP. I'm not sure the uh, gauge would say otherwise, but and thankfully Donald takes priority over healing me over healing everyone else. I just love using that freaking area area blast. Heal. 
stupid wall. Thank God for MP base, because I probably wouldn't even go through this fight if I didn't have it. Jesus, Donald. Problem with him is he doesn't flinch that much. He attacks me too quick to block. So I say fuck blocking. Arms Arcanum would probably be a much- Oh my god! Oh, bullshit. Oh, I knew that would happen. Good thing I saved beforehand. So I'll have to come back to that a bit later. Once I get a bit more, you know, reinforcements. And let's see, let's see. Ah. I can show off the other ones too. Although I'll probably just meet the same fucking fate as I did just then. Although these ones are a little bit more manageable. Just the tiniest, tiniest bit. And thankfully, these can both be accessed right next to save points. And first of all, I'm going to be doing a little bit of rearranging. We're going to be needing all three of these elemental magic spells as much as you can. Speaking of magic, I should boost that up. Because experience ain't gonna do diddly shit for me if I can't survive. It really doesn't matter if Donald or Goofy are really up for the challenge, although I would probably switch out Goofy with Peter Pan. I guess Pan can heal people. Again, this is a learning experience. Hey, Tinkerbell. Let's go! And this is the secret boss, the Phantom. My god, this boss will suck a big dick. Because this whole fight ranges on a timer. If it reaches down to zero, you instantly die. So there really is no point with Draga in this. That you can only hurt him with spells, or when his heart, heart, is white. And all the colors of his heart transpose to another element. Red is fire, blue is ice, and yellow is, of course, you know. I suggest you have a really strong keyblade for this, otherwise you're in for a fucking rude awakening. All other parts of them are invulnerable. Because you can't really target any of them. You always keep a nice look at the clock. So you, you know when to cast stop. Because that will halt down the countdown. Also, thank you, Donald. 
glad I brought you into this. Thunder. This should help. Ah. Dick. This should help. Feet free. Oh, yeah, make sure to bring plenty of ethers with you as well. Don't get too close to him when he casts that purple magic. Otherwise, you're gonna be in pain. Stand still, you bastard! Tough time seeing a protective clicking. Oh, it is. Donald's basically there just for healing purposes. I really don't have to use my elixir, but if I need to, I will. Thunder. I definitely prefer his original design over his, uh, his new one. Because of the original, it was all black. Which definitely made it a bit more... A bit more fear-inducing. Now, so don't attempt this until you get all the elemental spells to their third grade so that you can do as much damage as possible with them. He does not like it when you go next to the clock. Gotcha, bitch. Definitely loves doing that purple attack. Thankfully, if you're not on screen when he does it, he can't even hit you with it. Yep, got him down to the green bar. Ow! Asshole! See ya. Freeze, bitch! Expecting anything more than that from him, you're asking a little too much. Thunder. Nope. This should help. Up a little. Oh, no, not yet. Oh shit. Donald! Help! Fire! Man, we both missed. Fire! It's kind of annoying because his cloak can kind of get in the way of him seeing what the heart is looking like. See ya! Just to know you guys got my back. Oh shit. Dick. See ya. Right in your crotchicles. Best way to avoid that claw attack is just to go down. I say that, but I don't often do it. Running, 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 running! Okay. Freeze! Fire! I'm on fire! Dick! Yeah, this is actually going smoother than I thought. Once I say that, I'm gonna get fucking destroyed.
Almost there. Yeah, I can let the clock run a little bit more now. Because it goes one by one. Die! He's the king now. Stop. It's fully upgraded to stop guy. Yeah, it's a bit of an ass pull when you have the thing needed to kill him get upgraded at the end of a fight. You dicks. Well, solve that dilemma. It's been easier than I thought. Now let's go on to the next one. I kind of wish they had better rewards for you actually defeating them. Like okay, again, a new keyblade would be nice. Also, I would have loved to see one based on the Phantoms design would look like. That would have been sweet. Thankfully, there's not a time limit with this one, but it doesn't not make it annoying. Oh my god, let's customize my stuff back to where I had it. Much better. Definitely save before I move on with this one. It's saving all over the place! And also, I got myself a, a brand new, to me, wired PlayStation 3 controller. So now I don't need to use my PS4 controller anymore. And yeah, we'll go with the lab. Let's ride on carpet. Oh shit, I should have grabbed some items. Oops. Well, if I die, then I'll know my mistake. This is Kurt Caesar. First thing he does is seal away your magic, so quickly equip uh, Rogan to yourself to make this fight a little bit easier in the starting lines. In order to get your magic back, you gotta strike those magical orbs he's holding. I say he could be I don't know how to be That's why you definitely want to bring items when the first stage comes around. Unless you actually got a rogue off. Well, he just drops him. Then you just take a few shots at his face, which is a retractable snake head. And then keep it off of this. Just for a little added insurance. And also, she didn't save my ass when I got killed by Unknown. What the fuck, Tink? As you can see, he's got basically the same amount of health as the as Unknown did, but he's a lot more manageable. Next, protects himself from physical attacks by putting himself in the barrier. To get rid of this barrier, you use magic bats. Thankfully, you will drop some uh, MP orbs when you strike the barrier with magic. Or just randomly, that's fine too. Sand tornadoes are not that big of a threat if you're constantly dodge rolling. Good, they appear even if you hit them with a physical attack. 
As if the game is giving you a hint. Hey, numbnuts, that's not the way to do it. Glad I got a powerful keyboard. This is basically the second strongest in the game. Well, I assume you're right. And the cycle continues. He doesn't have any other tricks, just the ones you've seen up to now. I believe that his name was chosen through a contest of some sort. That help us if his name was Steve the Unkillable. I think Kurt Caesar is probably the best pick. Because it actually sounds somewhat Arabian or Middle Eastern. Oh god, it's the flying attack. Dodge roll like a motherfucker. There we go. Does he think it's also supposed to kill you? Because he hasn't really been doing that much. All these are him. Ain't take me out that easily. Well, I need magic, not necessarily defense. I just does not want to go down. Well, I'm not going to give him a goddamn choice! It sucks that Ar Aroga doesn't affect them the way other enemies do. Or the way it affects other enemies, rather. I mean, the enemy gets hit with a rogue, it should be counted as magic damage, but it is. Thanks for the help, guys. Thankfully, I don't think he can do the, the spinning blade while he's in that bubble form. Thank you, Donald. Enough of that shit. Oh, come on. Although I probably would rather deal with physical strikes than the magic. Stop going for me, you ass! Hey, Tinkerbell actually did her fucking job! And she was useless! I think I can do that. Let's do it again. I'll just skip to where I beat him.